Greetings fellow 50p collectors, Coin Snatcher here and an update on the 50p collection tonight. So in front of us we have all the Isle of Man TT 50ps and over the last couple of days I've been able to get rid of a couple of the capsules that I had for the new die coins. Uh, turns out some of them don't exist so they're, they're listed in the book I have as die mark variations but Unfortunately, they don't exist in real life, so we've got rid of those capsules, meaning that we've only got a couple left to fill now. So down here, we've got the 2007 sidecar, no die 50p. We have the 2009 no die 50p. We have the 2011 no die. And finally, the 2014 no die. I'm going to have to check the 2014 because I'm not 100% sure that that exists. So, before we get on to the TT coins, we do have one more addition to the Strike Your Own 50p collection. So, I came across this, I think it was on one of the Facebook groups. And this is a rather nice example of my favourite coin, which is, of course, the Isaac Newton coin. I think the design on this is fantastic especially when you zoom in and you really get to see the detail on it really really nice coin so we've already got quite a few of these in fact i think at the minute we have somewhere around oh i think it's around nine of these 2018 strike your own 50ps but the one that i have today is the earlier version so this is the 2017 version of the coin so at the minute i only have one of those so i decided to acquire another one and pick this up for a very good price i think I only paid 17 pounds for it so for strike your own coin for isaac newton i think that was that was on the money and in some instances these 2017 coins are actually going for more money than the 2018 coins i think possibly there might have been less if these coins struck but i would have to confirm that so it's a nice looking coin nice example still got plenty of luster still looks nice and shiny so we'll pop that over in the collection <clears throat> so on with the update on the 50p collection and um, we'll see in front of us we've got three little gaps here in the collection so without going through all the coins we've got the 97 large 50p tt we've got one of the 97 small tt 50ps uh, we've got another 35 of those in that tray all with different die marks and then we're on to the 1998 uh, sorry 1999 TT 50p so with these three coins here they are in front of us and each one of these coins the die mark is slightly different so we've got the left hand coin there we've got the middle coin and we've got the right hand coin so according to the book I have there's three different die mark variations for this coin and I'm pretty happy that all three of these are different. So the opportunity came up to purchase another 1998 TT 50p. And well, this is one of my favourite coin collections, so I just couldn't help myself. So let's have a look at the coin that's arrived today. And the first thing with this coin, one of the one of the things that attracted me to it was the condition of it it's in really really nice condition most of these coins are circulated so they're normally quite worn as these three are but this one i think maybe came out of a pack or it just hasn't been circulated the same way the other ones has so of course the all important thing to do with this is to pop it up on the other coin and see if we can compare the die marks and see if it's a new die mark or if it's a die mark that already exists. If it's a new die mark, then it would mean that there's four of these. Well, let's just get rid of that. That is just pissing me off now. So, as I say, if it's a new die mark, then we would have four when the book only lists three. So let's have a zoom in on this first coin. And we can pretty much see straight away that those die marks are different. So... 
if you're looking to see the difference on them when you look at this bottom coin the right hand A sits very close to the line and when we look at this top coin we can see that the right hand A sits quite a bit more distant from the line and it's not level with the A to the left of it with this coin you can see the right hand A drops down so let's just zoom out in that a minute so we can definitely say that it's not the same as coin number one so let's have a look see at coin number two so let's pop this up here as well okay so hopefully we should be able to zoom in on that excuse my lighting in the room so there we go now if you look down at the bottom coin you'll see that the two A's are quite close together and they're pretty pointy and if we look at the top coin we can see that those AA down marks are definitely different you can just see the the difference in them without me even having to go into an expl explanation of them so that's pretty good we're happy with that and then if we have a look at the third coin let's pop that over to the side so this is the third one in the collection let's pop this coin on top again right so we may need to move that one back just a tad okay so let's have a little zoom in on this coin here so if we have a look at this coin we can see that there's definitely a difference between them let's just get in even closer if we can maybe that's going in too far so what we got on the top hand coin if you look at the left hand a there's a little tail on the right hand side of the left hand a and if we have a look down at this one the tail on that a is missing so that's definitely a different die mark as well so all fun and games is it a fourth different die mark now to go back to the middle coin so this one i had to have a good look at it because for a while i was pretty convinced that it was the same die mark so let's just pop this up again here let's have another little look at this second coin so if we have a look at that there and they're not too dissimilar on both coins the right hand a sits higher than the left hand a the spacing between the lines looks quite similar as well so very hard to say it could be the same die mark the the little tails in between the A's look slightly different in their position and just these little tails in the middle it's very hard to tell because one card coin is worn and the other coin is not so when unsure of whether the die marks are the same or not the thing to do next is to have a look at the mint mark and if we have a look at the mint mark which is this little pm down here let's pop this coin closer so we can get a better look at these two pm mint marks together now the bottom one looks all squidgy and sort of blobby whereas the top one looks much more defined so I can see quite a difference between those two die marks so can you see the difference in those die marks the P on the won't focus sorry maybe I'm just trying to zoom in too much let's zoom out a bit there we go so if I have a look at the PM on the bottom coin almost looks like a DM it just looks like a triangle but when you look at the top coin <coughs> The PM is nice and defined. So going back, even if the die marks were the same on these two coins, which I'm not 100% sure they are, when we look at the PM mint mark, we've definitely got two different looking PM mint marks. So in my brain, that means that's a fourth variation on the 1998 coin, and that will be definitely going into the collection. I hope you can see the difference on on those two because i'm sure we'll have the doubters who will say it's the same die mark on the coin and 
given the wear and tear on the bottom coin, it, it may be possible that it is the same die mark. Just move that up there and have another little nosey at that. But the PM mint mark is definitely different on both coins. So because the PM mint mark is so distinguishable, this is going to go into the collection and this is going to be a fourth variation on the 1998 TT 50p. So leave your comments below. Excuse my shaky hand trying to hold it steady. But do you agree or disagree that these two coins are different? And maybe wouldn't argue the die mark so much because it's very hard to tell but i would definitely argue that the pm the pop joy mint mint mark is different on these two coins so comments below but for now that's it for this video peace and love coin snatcher out